people and welcome to Born to be Zesty. My name is Tori and on my YouTube channel I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle where I also share my passions for food, fitness, and home decor. So if any of those topics interest you, I hope you will stick around. Welcome back to Self-Care Sunday, the fitness edition. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I am a huge lover of fitness. I generally work out about five to six times a week. Um, it's just a part of my lifestyle. It elevates my mood, releases all of those great endorphins, gives me energy throughout the day, and it is just very important to me to maintain good physical fitness, great conditioning, and for just overall health and well-being. Being strong and fit gives me confidence, and just the discipline of the working out really just helps me to focus and assures me that I can do anything that I set my mind to. Plus, as a fashion girl, I want to look good in my outfits, okay? <laughs> so, all that being said, today we are doing an upper body workout. We're gonna work on toning those biceps, the triceps, and the shoulders. This is a beginner friendly workout. However, you can add dumbbells depending on your fitness level. I will be utilizing dumbbells today. Feel free to modify as needed. Take those intuitive breaks when needed. Just make sure you have water, a towel if you need to dry off, and get ready to enjoy this upper body workout. So just for a quick rundown broken up into three supersets we're gonna do three moves in each superset meaning that we will go straight from one exercise to the next with no breaks we will take a break in between one superset to the next so you will get a little bit of time to rest take breaks when needed and I hope that you enjoy the workout let's get started we're gonna get started with a three minute warm up, and then we're gonna just jump straight into the working sets. For each exercise, you're gonna perform 12 reps per exercise. Let's go. All right, let's just start with some arm circles, nice and small. And in just a moment, we're gonna stop and reverse and go the other way. Make your arm circles a little bit larger. Going to do a good job of warming up the shoulders. Going to do a lot of shoulder work today. All right, next move. Help to open up the chest, warm up the back, and again, continue to warm up those shoulders. Be sure to hold your core nice and tight. Will help you to balance. Now we're gonna move into scarecrows. Warm up those rotator cuffs. All right, and now we're just going to mimic a shoulder press. You should feel those shoulders starting to fire up for you. All right, go ahead and shake that out. All right, and we're just gonna warm up the core just a little bit. We wanna make sure that we're keeping our core nice and tight through the exercises. So we're just gonna take knee to elbow and do a little twisting move. And this will give you a little bit of ab work as well. Next move, we're gonna do a body weight squat. And here we go. Whenever you're doing squats, you wanna be sure to sit back into your bottom and make sure you keep your knees All right, next we're just gonna do a little bit of a side step. 
little crab walk here. Again, we want to get the whole body warm. I know we're doing an upper body warm, upper body workout, but we want to get our whole body warmed up. All right, that's our three minutes. Shake it out. Okay, for our first move, we're gonna start out with lateral raises. This is a straight arm move, so you definitely want to go lighter on the weights. Again, we're gonna do 12 repetitions. Shoulders back, and here we go. Be sure to pause a bit at the top of the move. And you want to make sure that you're not letting your arms just fly up and down like this. You want to have some control and really feel the muscle contraction. I believe we're on number eight. doing 12 on each arm. job you've got a one minute to rest I like to do active rest keep my heart rate up keep the body warm how you guys doing so far Let's get set up for the next superset. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks. Just working the back of the arm. That's that flabby part that we all hate. Let's get that nice and tight. And be sure to, when you wanna bend over, keep a flat back, no curve in your back. Keep your back nice and flat. Bring your elbows up, and you're gonna kick the weight straight back. Again, you wanna make sure that you're not swinging. You want to be intentional with the move. This is a strong move. Let's go.
next superset is finished. We've got active rest. Shake it out. How you guys doing? Hope you're feeling it. Even if you do this with no weights whatsoever, you'll, even if you do this with no weights, you'll still get a good workout as long as you're really focusing on the movement and feeling the muscle contraction. That's that mind-muscle connection makes a world of difference. if you need it and take breaks when necessary. All right, we're gonna get into the next move. Grab your weight. We're gonna go with some tricep extensions, overhead tricep extensions. Bring your weight overhead. You may wanna go with one weight, just depending again on your strength level. You wanna make sure that you're keeping your elbows in tight, not flayed out like this, cause that's doing nothing. Bring your elbows in tight and then press the weights up over your head. I highly recommend going lighter on the weights. Here, you're gonna bend your body forward. What we're working here is the back of the shoulder. You're gonna bend your body forward, and then you're gonna bring the weights up like this. Again, I'm telling you, you don't need any weights to fill this exercise. <laughs> bend forward, back flat. Make sure you're not cocking your head up or down. You wanna just look straight ahead at the floor in front of you. And here we go. That's round one done. We've got two more rounds. Hang in there, you can do it. <laughs> okay. Now you know the moves. The second and third round should be easier and you should be feeling stronger. <sighs> For me, whenever I'm working out that first round of exercises is usually the hardest. It's just a matter of getting the muscles fired up and the body ready, and the body and the mind ready to work. By the way, as I mentioned before, I do share a lot of my workouts often um, in my stories on Instagram, as well as on TikTok. 
So if you're not following me on those platforms, go on over there and give your girl a follow. I would love to have you. It's Born to be Zesty on all platforms. And let's get ready for round two. sexy shoulders. Let's get ready for those front raises. Here we go. Step extensions. To help you through this exercise, what you want to feel is like your pinky extending upwards. Bicep curls, let's go. FYI, I don't normally work out with a full beat, but I was shooting this morning, and so I just didn't feel like there was any reason to wash my face. But I'm gonna wash my face after my workout anyway, so you guys get me with a full beat. 
<sighs> How many of you all work out? Do you work out regularly at home or at a gym? Comment down below. Now, I do have a gym membership and I generally do go to my gym, uh, but I also like to work out at home. That's why I have the work weights. I do have a home gym in my garage, but it's just too damn hot for that right now. So I'm here in my studio. Got a little something going on with these old creaky knees. Whew. All right, you guys, stay hydrated. And let's get into the last superset of round two, overhead tricep extensions. Here, you wanna make sure that your knees are slightly bent. You've got your hips tucked slightly forward because you want to protect your spine. Again, keeping your elbows in tight to your head and just press straight overhead. Again, you're working the back of your triceps. That's what you should feel moving. Let's go. up next no rest let's go you can rest when we're done and here we go Next move, pick up those lighter weights. Let's jump right into the shoulder flies. up the good work we've got two rounds down and one to go I generally only do full body workouts like maybe once or twice a week Otherwise, I like to break my workouts up so that I can give the other muscle groups time to rest. So I'll do upper body, then I do glutes, and then I do legs. Um, and I just like to keep it my workouts broken up that way. Again, to give my body a little bit of time to recover because rest and recovery is equally as important as the workout. you guys are here and that you have joined me today I'm to jump into round three let's do it last 12 lateral lifts of the day make them your best let's go Get straight into those front raises. 12 on each arm. Let's do it.
Last set of dumbbell presses, you got 12. Let's go. I said, let's go, and I've got no weights in my hands. Now, let's go. guys feeling good we got two more supersets and then you are all done for the day water. I'm getting cramps in my toes, which means I have not properly hydrated today. No bueno. Tricep extensions. And here we go. See, we see that tricep popping right there? We're getting these bad boys going. Fire them up. Let's go. Red Rose, let's get it. days are cardio days for me so when I'm done with this I'm gonna go hit my Peloton for 30 minutes literally one of the best purchases I ever made love it if you need something low-impact cardio that does give you some resistance training my god I absolutely love my Peloton not sponsored just saying it's good Woo. So that's why you guys have seen me doing a lot of like lower body moves during the act of rest. So I'm trying to get my glutes and hammies ready for this Peloton ride. But I'm feeling good, so it's going to be a good one. Since I primarily really focus on resistance training, because again, that's what's going to give you the nice lean muscle, and the more muscle you have on your body, the more fat you will burn. <sighs> uh, anyway, what I was saying is, <laughs> because I, for the most part, focus on resistance training on my gym days, 
on days where I do upper body -o is when I incorporate cardio and at 51 girl I don't do all that running anymore my back and my knees can't take it but that Peloton gets the job done all right it's time to move on all right last set of overhead tricep extensions hammer curls of your life you got 12 here we go last exercise of the day ladies let's get it done shoulder flies here we go. around of applause <laughs> good job I hope you guys enjoyed this workout thank you so much for working out with me if you haven't hit that button go ahead and subscribe to the channel for all things fashion beauty lifestyle food fitness and home decor your girl has got you covered don't forget to follow me on TikTok, instagram and pinterest at born to be zesty and thank you so much for spending a portion of your day with me i greatly appreciate it wherever you are in the world i hope that you are walking in gratitude and that you are dreaming big and living even bigger i hope to see you in the next video bye